Hey YouTube, I am back with another video. Um, I know it's been quite a while uh, since my last video. I've still been thrifting and everything, but um, the thrift stores near me just haven't had anything. Um, I've either been buying, I've either been walking out of thrift stores empty-handed, or maybe buying one item, if that. Uh, just nothing really good out there. So this is definitely a collective haul. So I have stuff from Goodwill, Savers, Target, and Williams Sonoma Outlet. So let's get started. First, from Goodwill, um, this is a really heavy soapstone um, vase. I actually collect soapstone items. Um, it all started with um, soapstone animal uh, figures that I've collected from like home goods and stuff, and it uh, made me branch out. So I got that, and then I got, I'm going to put a candle in here to show you, I got this really nice soapstone candlestick holder. Um, unfortunately, they only had one, but I'll take it. Um, so the vase, I think, was $2.99, and I think this was $2.19. They were from different trips, that much I know. From another trip to Goodwill. I got these two brass um, pyramids that have all different images on each side. This was probably my favorite image. It was just so detailed. They were, I want to say $2.19 each. Um, I'm actually watching a set of these on eBay. Uh, they're like a set of three for like $25 plus shipping. Granted, the ones on eBay, I like the images a lot better because they're more, um, they're, instead of like just like an image, you know, it's more like a scene. So it's more like this, you know, so they're more detailed. But obviously those ones are a lot more expensive. So under $5 for this pair, I'll take it. Next, I found, I'm going to show you one at a time. They... I'm going to take the top off. They are these stone boxes that have like, I don't know if this is like considered a geode or what, but it's like a slice of rock. It goes really into this nice uh, wood box and it's like felt lined and everything. So that's that one. And then this one. And those were each $2.99 from Goodwill. Um, I actually have coasters that almost look like basically if they just took this top and made it into a coaster. Um, might be by the same company, but those are in like a blues. I prefer blues than this, but again, I'm not going to be picky. Next, I found this little wood jar. Um, has a little spot on the top, so I'm assuming maybe it was like a mustard jar or condiment jar. Um, this was under $3. I want to say it was like two nineteen. dollars like Goodwill does that price a lot. Um, okay, next I found this really adorable, uh, wooden turtle box. You know, actually it doesn't even, the lid doesn't really fit perfectly, but that was two ninety nine. Um, me and my boyfriend love boxes wood and animals so you know this kind of had it all going then i got this really nice wooden box it's extremely extremely light um it doesn't have any markings but it has like little feet on the bottom this was two dollars and 19 cents um nothing really fancy fancy but you know i really liked it Next, I pick up. I picked up this set of stone um, bookends. They're in decent shape. There's like a few chips, but they're in the back, so you know. I liked them. Um, this was nine ninety nine for the pair. Next, I picked this up. It's. This stone 
like this is stone I think and then it has like this almost antique looking base now the bottom says made in Austria and there's a price tag on the bottom I think this was originally $35 from some store I think it's from anthropology like I think I don't know you know it was $7.99 I really think that was a little much but I guess Goodwill thought it was an antique <laughs> but it's I don't think it is I think it's from anthropology okay so the next as if I don't have enough candle holders I got this one this one was $3.99 this is what it looks like without. I love, honestly, what sold me was the handle, and it has like the drip collector here. Um, this was originally from Pier One, um, three ninety nine. They had one. I just loved it. Next, I got this was from Savers a while ago. It is this. In black enamel um, like brass etched vase now there is a condition issue here with the black paint chipping off I might try to just get some black enamel paint and paint that um, but mm, overall I guess it was in pretty decent shape I want to say it was like $4.99 Okay, next, this was actually an item on my wish list, kind of. It's this Aztec calendar plate. Now, this is like a brass or copper, and it seems like um, it's like enamel paint. So, it's from Mexico, which I'm, assu so I'm assuming it was like a souvenir. And this was $4.99. Um... I'm also looking for like the Aztec calendar in a uh, stone. So honestly, I kind of also really like the back because the back is engraved also. So we'll see how I uh, display it. <sighs> okay. Um, this I got from Savers a while ago. It was this little brass tray this was $2.99 I haven't polished it yet it's really really tarnished but um, I use um, barkeepers friend and Brasso um, they both work very very well so um, I'll probably use Brasso is the strongest so I'm probably gonna use that first and then I'll use barkeepers friend to clean up the rest of it so that was an exciting find um, then I got this from Savers. It's an hourglass. Um, this has actually always been on my wish list, also. But Home Goods sells them. Like I've seen them at Home Goods, where it's just the glass part. And I really wanted a stand because um, I didn't like the fact that it was just like glass sitting out like that. And I think Home Goods wants like fifteen to twenty dollars. This was um, five ninety nine. And I went with my mom um, on a Tuesday, which is senior day at the Savers near me. So she got 30% off of this. So I was happy about that. Next from Savers, um, it's nothing special, but it, it's an A to Z uh, like file book kind of thing. I want to start organizing my receipts and stuff. So I'm probably going to do an alphabetical order. And my mom actually found this. It was $2.99 plus 30% off. And she used to work in an office. So she's like, these are like usually really expensive. And I went on Staples' website. And they're actually like $23. So to get it for just over $2, I was happy that she found that. Last thing I got from, last thing I got from Savers was, this was from my boyfriend. Um, he loves the Spode Christmas tree stuff, and this is uh, Spode. It's the two-tier 
it's a Christmas tree double tier tray. Um, it was $5.99 plus 30% off. I think we have one of these already, but I believe he said there was something wrong with it or it was miss like, I think it was missing the screws. It was, it was missing something. Um, but I opened this and it looks like it's never been used. The one plate has craisin on it, but they could just, you know, this might just be kept in somebody's hot attic or basement or something. So maybe it's like, I know craisin sometimes with temperature. Um, but the stuff was like wrapped up like I don't think it was ever used. So I was happy to find that for him. I'm not really a fan of the Christmas tree line, but he is. Okay, um, next I went to Target and I just got some 90% off stuff. I think everything I got is from Magnolia Home. I'm really not a huge Magnolia fan, but I do like some of the stuff. Um, okay, so I got this. This is the um, 12 by 12, like, distressed mirror, you know. There we go. So it's like you're, you're basically paying for something to look old and used. I feel like if this came out a few years ago, nobody would have bought it, but I think people buy it because of the name. Um, yeah, it's called Antique Glass Wall Mirror. Um, I just, I kind of was just looking for a mirror. So this was regularly $25, and I got it for $2.49. Um, my Targets don't, oh, I'm sorry, my two Goodwills, they get stuff from Target, but they don't really get all the new stuff that goes to salvage. They only get items that have been, like, opened or, like, damaged or, like, missing pieces. Like, you know, after the stuff goes 90, like, I know Target salvages it and then Goodwill's buy it and resell it, but mine doesn't get, like, the new stuff, and if they do, the prices are ridiculous, so I know I buy it when it's 90% off. Um, this is all, like I said, everything I got is from, it's called Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. I got this, it's a glass box with a can, like, and it holds candles on the top. And you could put whatever you want in the glass. And I really actually think this is a cool concept. I don't know why I would put it on the inside. I think I have an idea. But this was regularly $22.99 and I got it for $2.29. Um, I know they also had a gold one, but I don't know if the gold one was 90% off. I just figured the black would be good. Um, then I got the one, two three. These are the um, bud vases. Um, so the large one was $1.29, medium was $0.99, cents, and the small was $0.69. Cents. Um, my boyfriend loves houses, and they in the chimney you can put a little flower thing in. So I kind of got these more for him, because he loves houses, and I think they were actually kind of cute. And cheap, honestly. Like, what I paid less than three dollars for them so you know if I ever get tired of them it's not like I'm out a whole lot of money okay and then I got this was the wood nesting houses I'm not taking it out but that's what it looks like um, I know he said he thought these were cute um, when we were uh, there last time and now that they were 90% off they were only a dollar 69 for the three so I was happy to get that for him and last but not least, I went to Williams Sonoma Outlet, and I did really, really well. So first, I got this is also for him. Um, I went there when he was at work. And I went actually with my mom. So this is a he loves olive wood. So this is a olive wood rectangular board. Uh, this is the medium one. Now, it was on clearance because it kind of, like, started to split. I don't know if you can see that, like, right here. It has, like, splits. But, um, if you've gone to, like, TJ Maxx or Williams Sonoma, olive wood always splits. So, it was regularly $50 on clearance for $12.94 and then additional 30% off of that. So, I picked that up for him. Next, I picked up uh, more napkin rings. 
I don't need napkin rings, honestly. I probably have at least 20 sets, and I'm not joking, if not more. Now, I already have these, uh, but William Sonoma sells their napkin rings individually. So, from the outlet, I would say maybe even a year ago, I've actually picked up some of these. Um, I think I only found like three or four of them, uh, but I found two more. So they were regularly $12.99, marked down to $9.99. Then the outlet had them for $1.94 and 30% off of that. So I found two more. So, um, you know, pays to dig through the giant bins of napkin rings. And then I only found two of these, but these are hands down probably the, my favorite nap. Like if I had to get rid of all my napkin rings except for one set, this would be the set that I keep. Now, I don't know if you can see the color variation is different. I don't know if these are silver plate or what. Um, they might be, but I don't think I'm ever going to polish them. I just love the way that looks. I'm just going to hold up one. So these were regularly $12.95 a piece. They were marked down to $3.94 and then 30% off. Probably the most I've ever paid for napkin rings, but wow. And then last but not least. <sighs> okay, so the way the outlet works. The Williams Sonoma outlet, um, at least the one that I go to, obviously every place is different. They get uh, customer returns and damaged items and then just items that there's nothing wrong with them. This item was a customer return. The sales associate opened the box to me. There was literally nothing wrong with it. We assume just it was maybe the wrong color or the person just changed their mind. But I got this chandelier. Now it's, I don't have a house to put this, but honestly this is probably the deal of a lifetime. So I love brass with all my heart. So, um, they had this. It has one, two, it has six lights. Um, and like I said, it's brass, has six lights. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. It is still full price on the Williams Sonoma website for $1,250. Um, it was marked down to $249 at the outlet. And I had an addition, there was an additional 30% off of all clearance items and then I had a $25 Williams Sonoma reward so for the light fixture the four napkin rings and the um, olive wood board with sales tax I paid $184 so um, I now have a light fixture to go over my dining room table so I was beyond excited um, to find this the box is massive I have to say the box obviously the box is bigger because it has like all the styrofoam and it's supposed to protect it but the box was probably like two and a half by three and a half feet uh, but it's very light according to this it says it's 25 pounds but I picked it up you know very easily so that was unexpected I was actually literally walking out of William Sonoma with just the four napkin rings um, and then I found everything else so thanks everybody for watching um, I don't know if when I'll be back with my next video because thrifting has been very um, bad lately so you know maybe we'll pick up but um, I'm waiting for garage sale season honestly because um, the thrift stores really they're just their prices keep getting higher and higher so I kind of just want to like wait and do um, the flea market in my house and garage sales. So that's what I'm going to start saving my money for. So thanks everybody for watching and have a great day.